Hey everybody, it's Matt from Union Horror Movies and welcome to my end of the month haul for my pickups for the month of March. Yes, uh, March was a good month. So these are my horror DVDs and Blu-rays I picked up. Also, I will not be showing the, the films I bought during Monster Mania because this list will be even bigger. So if you want to see what I picked up during Monster Mania, please go and check out uh, that video that I of uh, those movies I bought and everything. So you see those. So without further ado, let's get in with the uh, the update. Got a lot of uh, upgrades and, of course, new films. Off the bat, we have Alien Party Crashers. Here, I'll get a little closer for you. Alien Party Crashers, I got on eBay. No, Amazon. Pretty cool uh, flick, pretty much. It was originally called Canaries, but it got changed. Uh, Alien Invasion. Some cool practical effects. The uh, creatures have these... They're humanoid, but very long... Claws, they go around clawing people and gouging them. I actually didn't mind it. I liked how it ended, so it does open up for a sequel. We will see. I forgot I pre-ordered this a long time ago. And that is the Amityville Murders. Finally came out on Blu-ray. So, another Amityville to add to the collection. So, I guess it's another prequel, I guess. So, if anybody's seen it, let me know. So, yeah, Amityville Murders. Upgrade for five bucks from Amazon had to arachnophobia on blu-ray. So yep got all my coverage spider films from <clears throat> Family video Picked this movie called Bedlam uh, from after dark originals. It sounded pretty cool do with uh, Demons and people trapped in a an insane asylum. I don't know fears. So who knows? Let's see if anybody seen it. Let me know not a big steelbook collector, but I had to because the artwork's pretty badass. Of course, I bought Beetlejuice on Steelbook. <laughs> so, yeah, it's a pretty cool uh, steelbook right there. Oh, yeah, let me um, move some of these around. Upgrade, upgrade. Uh, Beast of the Yellow Knight on um, blue. This, I think, is a Singapore um, director. I'm not exactly sure. But, um,. Came right in the beginning of the month, so of course, I had my other month already done, so we'll put it in the next month. So, if anybody's seen it, let me know. Uh, Mood 616 sent this over to me for my birthday, came late, but I was very happy. Of course, that is the double feature of Blackula and Scream, Blackula, Scream. So, now I have finally have them in my collection. From Cult Epic Pictures. Uh, the Book of Monsters. This was actually really good. I watched it. A lot of practical effects. The monsters were pretty cool. Got some good gore. Uh, it's kind of kind of had that Evil Dead, Dead Alive feel to it. So yeah, I recommend it. It was a lot of fun. I love the way the disc looks. That's the disc right there. <laughs> so yeah, definitely recommend checking out Book of Monsters for sure. It's, it was fun. You collect practical effects. Uh, the Bunker, another more uh, war horror. Been after this for a while. I finally decided to finally pick it up. Another cheap upgrade is Cockneys vs. Zombies. I had the old DVD. This was dirt cheap on Amazon, so I said, why not? Another upgrade is The Craft. I got a chance to meet a lot of the girls from The Craft at Monster Mania. That was awesome. I wish I had this at the time. I would have it signed, but yeah, it goes how it goes. So yeah, it comes with the original artwork too. So yeah, the craft, a lot of cool special features, cool slip cover. I like the the artwork on it. If you're familiar with the movie, that's they're kind of like their altern offering. Uh, upgraded, of course, the curse and curse two. I love Curse 2, the whole hand turning into a giant snake, going down people's stomachs and ripping out their hearts and all that shit. So much fun. So, of course, I had to upgrade that. And, of course, I picked up uh, Curse 3. Uh, this one's called Blood Sacrifice. Now, I think there's four Curse movies. I don't know. I don't know. I think, can someone tell me what the fourth one is so I can look it up? I'm not exactly sure. But So that's number three. Thanks to I think Code Red and Scorpion put this out. Yeah, Scorpion releasing, so yeah, through Code Red. So finally picked this one up. Looks pretty cool about sacrifice and everything. 
uh, Dead Ant. <laughs> love my heavy metal, and of course I love my killer giant ant flicks, so it's a big mixture of two and one. This was a lot of fun. The music was pretty cool, so I definitely recommend checking it out. Got some weird CGI, but fun story. Highly recommend it. Through SRS Cinema, got The Dead Inside. Uh, I saw the trailer for this. It looks kind of fun, like a shot on video type deal. They're people going into this house, they get transported back to World War II or World War One, I, I want to say. And of course, their dreams are haunting them and everything. So it looks, this looks pretty fun. The Dead Inside. Upgraded uh, Dead Silence. This movie doesn't get a lot of love. It should. This movie's awesome. So I finally upgraded that to a Blu-ray. Uh, the Deadly Mantis, a fucking awesome, gotta love the 1950s, you know, atomic age era of giant killer bugs. So, of course, there's a giant praying mantis, so I almost bought the DVD because it's a burn-on-demand DVD, so I'm glad I held off and got the Blu-ray through Amazon. Through Mondo, got The Devil's Nightmare, so I was kind of excited to check this one out and never seen it. Looks pretty cool. Uh, this one is limited. I got 617 out of 1,000, so only 1,000 were made. And got some cool cards inside there as well. I'm not going to take them all out. Yeah, Mondo does a great job with her stuff, so it takes a while for it, but God love Mondo. Uh, Warner Brothers was having a sale on their archive collection, four for 44 bucks, so pretty much 11 bucks each. Jumped on that one. Uh, one of the ones I grabbed was Dracula AD 1972. So I had to add that to the collection. Gotta love my old Christopher Lee vampire flicks. So that's one of them. Uh, the Final Wish. I actually like this one. I like the whole wish type movies and like, you know, Wish Master, Wish Upon, all those type of things. Uh, this one about a possessed urn. If you make wishes, they come true. But they have a price. Uh, it was, I know it gets a little bit of hate, but I actually enjoyed Wish Upon. So let me know what you think on that one. Another uh, one for four, four forty-four. Uh, the Giant Behemoth from the Warner Archive Collection. Had to grab it. Didn't own it. So yeah, some more good giant monster fun. A friend of mine recommended this to me, so I picked it up. That's called Hitchcock. This was really cheap on Amazon with uh, Anthony Hopkins, Scarlett Johansson, a bunch of main characters based trying to redo Psycho and everything in this movie. So this looks pretty cool. I've got to check it out sometime soon. I think it was like six bucks for the Blu ray. So I'm like, okay. Uh, another upgrade. So I upgraded. My DVD was like a bare bones. So I grabbed the collector's edition of Hobo with a shotgun. <laughs> This, again, was dirt cheap, and it came with a slipcover, so I was very happy on that. Another 4 for 4 44 the uh, Horror of Dracula, another Warner Archive. Uh, they say the transfer on this is not the greatest, but again, you're talking from the 19, uh, 19, 1957, so we'll give it a shot. I love my Christopher Lee vampire flicks. Finally grabbed... Uh, Human Lanterns. I've been after this for a long time. And on the podcast, we're going to be doing a Shaw Brothers coming up soon. So I had to grab Human Lanterns. Yeah, some martial arts Asian horror. So I can't wait to spin that one. This was dirt cheap. Brand new at FYE for three bucks. Uh, the Invisible. So it looked interesting. If it sucks, well, I wasted three bucks. So if anybody's seen The Invisible like to hear your thoughts on that. Grabbed Legendary with Dolph Lundgren and Scott Atkins. Uh, it's pretty much they're fighting a giant lizard in China. Uh, the lizard's CGI'd and everything. Some parts were practical, some parts were not. Kind of reminds me of like a sci-fi channel flick, but a little bit better. Had a lot of fun with this. Dolph is pretty much like the bad guy, the hunter, and Scott Atkins is the cryptozoologist. So they're trying to find this giant, almost like a gecko type lizard. I had a good time with it. So legendary, fun little creature feature. Uh, why not some kid horror? Uh, Monster Force, volume one. Supposedly there is no volume two. 
It uses the universal monsters as heroes and villains. Humans don these weird outfits to fight them. Like, I love my cartoon shit. This looks a lot of fun. Monster Force. If I've seen it, let me know. Uh, at Big Lots, for five bucks, I grabbed Monsters vs. Aliens. Come on. He got Mothra, the Blob, uh, Attack of the 50-Foot Woman, the Fly, Creature from the Black Lagoon, I think, type style, Mothra. So, I think I just said that. So, pretty much, it's like a kid version of some of the old 1950s horror. That's awesome. I actually have the the Halloween edition one episode, so why not? <laughs> this was in my little box of little box of horrors for Evolution of Vampires. Uh, my brother, my best friend, is a vampire. Give it a watch. Don't know much about it. Another one I bought from Fye, dirt cheap for like three bucks. Uh, the Night Stalker, yeah. This is the one from 2009. Uh, looks kind of cool, based on a true story about a serial killer going around killing people. If you've seen it, let me know. Love to hear your thoughts. Uh, my friend Sam sent this over to me for my birthday, which was in February, but it came. Got Nightmare City from Arrow, so it was very awesome that he sent this to me. Uh, this is a region free A, B, and C. If you're curious, right there. Let's zoom in, focus, whatever. So yeah, Nightmare City, awesome flick, love it. Another from Big Lots, I got for five bucks. Comes with a 3D Blu-ray, regular Blu-ray DVD, and that is, of course is Paranorman, another upgrade. So had to upgrade it. I had the I had the basic DVD. I wasn't gonna do it, but I did. I bought the Pet Cemetery Steelbook. It comes with this cool uh, clear case. So this is the 4K blue and the regular Blu-ray. That's the back. So it's got all the features as the 4K edition. Those eyes really brought me into it. <laughs> so I'm like, all right, okay, fine. I'll buy the, the Steelbook. Uh, another creature feature called the Presence. Now this case came broke, so I got to find a clear case like this to fix it. Uh, from the 1990s, this was originally a TV movie that was going to be into a TV show. But it got canceled, so we just had this film about a bunch of people in a plane crash. They land on this island, and of course, uh, scientists were studying and experimenting on creatures and everything. One individual turns into like a merman monster and goes after them. It was a fun flick. I highly recommend it, especially like 90s. And of course, it's got Kathy Ireland in there, and she's, of course, in a bikini. Woohoo! <laughs> so yeah, the presence... Uh, made for TV movie that was going to be turned into a show, but it never happened. I uh, picked this up on Amazon for like five bucks, <clears throat> and that is the Queen of Scream 3 movie collection. Um, I did not own Vacancy or When a Stranger Calls, so I got that for the blue. And of course, I already have I Know What You Did Last Summer. And they're all on. Uh, they're, one's a Blu-ray and one's a DVD, so you get a combo pack. All right. So I probably just bare bones films, but I did not own the other two. So for five bucks, why not? Picked up uh, Rampant, uh, another Asian horror film. Guys, we did Train to Busan. This looks insane. You know, zombies, Dern, uh, swords. Uh, what what year is this? What takes place? And I want to say, no clue. <laughs> <laughs> so, of course, maybe feudal Japan type thing. So, of course, no guns. It's all swords and martial arts. So, I can't wait to get this one a watch. If anybody's seen it, let me know. Love to hear your thoughts. From Arrow, had to do it. Thank God I have a multi-region player. The Ring Collection. Now, this happens to be a nice box edition. It comes with all, technically four of them. You have Ring Ringu. Uh, this also has the version called Spiral, also known as, excuse me, Ranson. And uh, it's technically like the sequel to Ringu. And of course, you have Ringu 2. Sorry for the glare. Of course, it's loaded with special features. So that's Ringu 2. And of course, Ringu 0. So if you're a fan of the Ringu films, this is definitely must own. 
and of course, oops, it comes with a cool Ringu book. You know, Arrow loves to do that kind of stuff. So yeah, this is another brick edition. Surprisingly, this sold really well. And I don't know a lot of people who like the Ringu films. So that's awesome. Yeah, I'll slide that bad boy in there. I'll slide it in later. And that's what she said. So yeah, that's the Ringu box set. Uh, from Scorpion and Code Red. Robo Robot Holocaust. I can't believe this has got a Blu-ray. Seen this a long time ago, and that's the original artwork. Only on VHS. <clears throat> I almost bought a bootleg a long time ago. Glad I held off. So that's Robot Holocaust. And I think the other four for 444. Saying too many fours. And that's the Satanic Rites of Dracula from the Warner Brothers Archive Collection. So yeah, got a bunch of my Christopher Lee vampire films. Gotta love them. I picked it up. That's uh, Scream Queen Season 1. Wasn't a big fan of Season 2. And of course, 2 is not even out on DVD or anywhere that I know of. But this was cheap on Amazon, so of course I grabbed it. Pretty cool slasher TV show, so I had a lot of fun. It definitely, if you're a fan of slashers and if you're a fan of like, horror comedies, this is right up your alley. From another one from Family Video that I bought called The Snarling. This is looks like a cool uh, werewolf film put up by Wild Eye Releasing, so you never know. So yeah, if anybody's seen The Snarling, I'd like to hear your thoughts on that. It was like a cool practical effects werewolf monster flick. From Wally World, Walmart, the Spider Collection. <laughs> I am surprised that this got it. I had all three on DVD, so this is a huge upgrade. Saves me some room. Um, all three Spider movies. Uh, the first two were definitely sci-fi channel flicks. Um, one Spider, they were trying to use it for astronauts, and of course, <clears throat> try to shoot them up in outer space to grow. And of course, it doesn't happen. Of course, it grows on Earth. Part two takes place on a boat where they're all being experimented on. And the third one actually didn't know it was a sequel to the first one. But of course they do launch them in space. Something happens. They crash the earth. And they grow really large and run rampant. So yeah, spiders from I think Echo Bridge. Yeah. So that's pretty cool. I love the artwork. Uh, another upgrade. That's Splinter. Had to grab it on blue. This was dirt cheap. Uh, Freaking love this monster movie. If you like parasites and everything, I think you have a good time with Splinter. I highly recommend it. From Vinegar Syndrome, The Suckling. I am really shocked that this got a Blu-ray. I think I just yeah, I kept the same cover art. Killer baby mutant, <laughs> killer mutant baby monster, if you want to call it like that. <laughs> Pretty crazy. Uh, I had the old DVD. So this was a great upgrade. Vinegar Syndrome does a great job on their upgrades. So that's a, a plus there. Uh, this was sent to me by Artsploitation <clears throat> called Terror 5. Uh, they also sent me some other film. It looks like a, a uh, thriller. I don't know. They sent me a man. The, ma the man with the magic box. So it was like a sci-fi thriller. I forgot I had it over here. But this looks pretty cool. This looks like this is an anthology from Argentina. So I'll give this one to watch soon. So prepare for a random review update. Uh, warning sign. Finally got this in the collection. Uh, yeah, this was a pretty cool contagion type film. So yeah, if you've ever seen Warning Sign, it's awesome. Alright, come here. <clears throat> Werewolves on Wheels. I remember Mood 616 recommended this to me, and he said, you know, grab it, finally grab it. Finally was dirt cheap on Amazon, so I snagged the copy from Dark Sky Films. This does look a lot of fun, so I can't wait to give this one a spin. Werewolves on Wheels. Yeah. Finally got my upgrade of Willard, my DVD upgrade. It came late, so I don't care as long as I have it. Just happy to finally own my Withered Blu-ray. Uh, another upgrade from Code Red. When I bought Robot Holocaust, this was on the site and for cheap. That is Zombie Nightmare. So I had to snag it from their site. Usually this is going for a pretty high amount. And they actually had some in stock for a really good price. So I snagged one. And from uh, Big Lots. <laughs> 
This was $3 brand new for this DVD and Blu-ray combo of Zombie Night. Probably is horrible, who knows, for 3 bucks. But again, I spent 3 bucks on it. So, if it sucks, oh well. If it's good, we'll see. I remember seeing the beginning of it, and I kind of got intrigued. But I don't remember much, so I got to revisit this. So, Zombie Night. Alright guys, that is it for my haul. For my pickups for the end of the month of March. So, thank you very much for watching. Uh, let me know in the comments down below your thoughts on my haul. If there's some films that I haven't seen that you have, I'd like to hear your thoughts. Um, if there's some ones that you want to see reviews on, I'll try to get to that because I like doing my reviews. There's a couple I definitely have to get to. And again, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. I like reading, like reading the thought, reading the comments and responding. I need to go. <laughs> All right, guys, have yourself a good one. Peace.